Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video I have got a autumn makeup and skincare favourites. So what I've been loving for the autumn months has been Mario Podesky. He is a skincare uh, brand that is known in New York and America and you can buy a lot of his products from Mecca. I've been absolutely adoring his enzyme cleansing gel. This is really, really good for oily combination skin. It's also good for dry skin and it's got grapefruit and papaya um, extracts in it. So it's really, really nice on the skin and it doesn't dry my oily combination skin out because I was finding that my grapefruit cleanser from Neutrogena was drying out my skin quite bad so I've stopped using that and now I'm using this little beauty from Mario Badescu. Another Mario Badescu item that I've been loving is the facial spray with aloe vera, cucumber and green tea. This is seriously my favourite. It is only $9. It is amazing. It's cleansing, it's calming and it's refreshing on the skin as well and I have nearly gone through half the bottle in two weeks but it's because I use it quite a bit during the day and quite a bit at night as well when I feel like my skin's getting a bit dry or a bit iwi feeling but no I seriously love this. I also want to try out the lavender version in this but I'm yet to find it in my Mecca so fingers crossed that they will actually be stocking the lavender one because I really want to try it so much. So yeah I've been loving this one. For a foundation for this autumn season, I've been loving my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. This is really, really nice. It's a bit lighter than the normal Double Wear foundation. Another qualm that I have with this is I have to add lightning drops. It's not light enough for me. It's like orange. So I have to add about two Australia's lightning drops to this one and also to my other Double Wear and I love it. I love the feel. I love the consistency of the foundation. I just don't like that the colour's still really orange when I'm really pale. So I add about two drops of this with this, mix it together and then I apply it. But other than that, I seriously love this foundation and I love how it stays well during the day. I have been loving a brand new lipstick for autumn. This is from the Gigi Hadid uh, Maybelline line. It's in the shade Erin and it's just my absolute favourite lipstick at the moment. I just love the muted purple mauve shade and it just seems to go with almost every eye look that I do at the moment which is awesome for me. The number one palette that I have been using for the autumn season has to be the Huda Beauty palette. I actually have been using it so much that I bought a backup the other day in Sephora because I just love it and it's my favourite palette ever and it's just been, I don't know, just a go-to. So I've been using a lot of the like shades that aren't shimmery when I'm on a like quick, you know, get out the door, do a quick makeup look. Then I've been using a little bit of these lighter shades and a lot of these fun, funky shades. I did post a photo on my Instagram, if you haven't seen it, of a makeup look I did um, using a lot of these purple berry shades. So I will link that photo or whatever down below if you want to see the look. If you want me to recreate the look I can for this channel, just let me know in the comments. But I've been just loving this palette so, so much. It's so pretty. Alrighty, so another thing that I have been loving has been a new primer. So I've been on the lookout for a decent primer for my skin. I have tried the W7 primer, I've tried the Hourglass primer, I've tried the Benefit primer, I've tried Australia's primer, I've tried Rimmel primer, I've tried so many primers, but the one that I've been really, really loving has been the Smashbox primer. So I'm just gonna go grab it because I accidentally left it over on my makeup vanity and then I will tell you what I've been loving about the primer and why I've been liking it. Alrighty, so talking about the Smashbox primer, this is the photo finishing foundation primer for pore minimizing. It does cost almost $60, but it is seriously worth it. A little of this goes a long way. I love how it's been helping a lot of that, like, um, I get this thing where most of my foundation doesn't stay where my pores are more large, so this has been helping that a whole heap, it's also been minimising them quite a bit, 
and I've just been loving this one to pieces. It's my all-time favourite. Keeps my main areas that I have problems matte and I don't feel like my foundation is sliding off a whole heap during the day. Another sort of primer setting spray that I've been loving is the Urban Decay All Night All Nighter Spray. This is just the normal one, so not the oily one. I do want to try the oily one, but my sister gave me this to try, and so far I've been really, really liking it. It's been keeping everything in place during the day, and it's just really, really nice and light on the skin as well. A brand new concealer that I have been loving is the Essence Camouflage Concealer. This is in the shade 05 Ivory and it is a really really nice light concealer for a fair pale person like myself. This only costs $6 from Priceline and it is seriously one of the creamiest concealers that I have ever used. It's not a drying concealer so it's really really good for under the eyes or any problem areas that you may have and I just love this little beauty to pieces. So yeah, that is what my favourite autumn skincare and makeup pieces have been. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification uh, to be updated when I upload a video. Also, I will link down below my social media accounts, my blog and my Instagram. Please don't um, forget to check those out if you want to read my blog article on all these products and yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day